Welcome viewers to Software Demi a software engineering academy. Today we will discuss about how to find out lags and dangling logics in your projects. So dangling activities the activities which don't have any predecessor or successor. For example, I have explained you that or any of an activity for example I open another schedule here. So this is uh, I have also Villa construction project VC3. I have explained a lot of about this project, but now I will explain you here. You can see the activity which is open ended. We will find out here. Can you see the activity don't have any predecessor or successor? You will not find here. You can see this activity don't have a successor. So this activity haven't any successor is a dangling activity it's not a dangling logic the activity having no successor is our predecessor is the activity is dangling activity so during the critical path analysis the activity this area empty area or empty relationship or empty successor means the activity is dangling so how can we find out the activity having a successor predecessor uh, no predecessor successor there are two methods the one is we go here in the schedule we can schedule this project here and the better way we can go here and apply the selected project we can enter a log file so in your system maybe it's older version you can open that one in the schedule so you can see there is a log file cannot be created by the user so there is an error so what we should do what we should do i will explain you how to resolve this issue in my upcoming video so don't forget to see that video so we will go here in a schedule we will see where predecessor and successor are located we'll go here and press on log to file and schedule the project and then again we will go here and view the log and what is in the log i have explained you a lot of in my a lot of the videos how can we expect a lot of warnings how can we expect a lot of activities having predecessor without predecessor and successor so these activity having no successor without successor 32 activities is strange 32 activities don't have any successor you can find that from this activity id you can search it from this activity ids so this log file will be appear when you are using an older version than 19.12 this one is latest 20.12 if you haven't installed you can see the video in my playlist it's mentioned about 20.12 downloading and how to install so you can see here the activity is having a successor or 32 activities so these all activities these 32 activities are dangling activities so in html if you want to generate html you can see html here and this one is also an option and we can view that log in opera so here you can see activity without predecessor you can see one activity so why it's showing one why it's showing one why so we will go here we will first schedule the project and then again open now we will view as html now it will show us without recessor a 32 activity so here is an option of dragging or closing out the cross bars and we have also an option to see all the activities clearly in the basic previous docs file or notepad file you can't do this dragging we can do this cross grouping over this one is 32 activities without successor so this one method how to find out your open ended or your dangling activities so to show single predecessor we can go here and add a new filter here predecessor no predecessor no predecessor and we will go here and add here predecessor predecessor here is equal to no predecessor apply no predecessor 
and when we apply no predecessor so the activity one activity don't have a predecessor here we can see also in the log and that is its start activity and we will also create a new filter for an activity having no successor we will create here an activity having no successor so you can see the activities having no successor these are 31 activities you can see in the log the same appear in the log a lot of activities you can see from here so this one is done this the other method to find out the activities don't have any relationship so what the next is so how can we export or extract your all activities and how to see your lags and what is allowable lag in a project and pro during project scheduling so the next step is to find out what is the, your specific lag in your project and how to find out the lag so there is also method to find out the lag by user defined i will explain in my next video but now i will explain you how to extract that in an excel sheet so now what we will do we will do here we will go here file and then we will go here see here the file this one is the file and predecessor successor and we will go here in admin we will go here in the report wizard and we will create a new report here and in the new report we will go here in the resource assignment resource and activity relationship and in activity relationship we will go here in the activity relationship ahead we will add and go in the column lag is already added we will just add here a successor name yeah that's done successor name and successor project we don't need that one and we just need a successor id a successor detail just yeah that's one is okay float critical relationship type driving and lag it's okay driving we can remove and maybe we can add driving and critical both and this one is a multiple float how to check out the multiple float on your project you can add this column here so critical is already added and driving is already added we will go here and apply okay we will go here next sorting is okay and filter is okay sorting you how do you sort your project i will sort my project by wbs filter if you have any filter you want to apply filter any dates filter any other we will discuss on later on on my next videos html i want to generate the file should be command limited and the file should be csv i want to generate that now now the file is generating now so here the file is generated now and how to find out the lag in your project what should be the minimum lag i will explain you from here we will apply here a filter you can see here a filter option filter and from here the filter you can see a lot of activities here i will go here and i will remove the blanks so you can see all the activities will be shown here free float critical no 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 yes 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 and activities having a lag so to find out the lag you will go here and remove the zero lag from here zero lag and you will display zero one and one minus one minus two minus two minus four four is allowed minus four is not allowed minus four the minus is a lead and the plus is a lag so the minimum lag required or the minimum allowable lag is up to five days or plus or minus the plus means lag and the minus means lead so the maximum lead required five days the maximum for allowable lag is five days and lead both the same but in some projects and then some scheduling management system the companies allow seven days and ten days so it's up to your activity and up to job of description of the work which project you are doing and how much your uh, contract is allowing you to do that allowed your lag so how to check your lag you can check it from here by extracting from report wizard a report and that report will contain a lag and you can find out the activities having access lag from here so how to filter your lag in an excel from premiere p6 you can see here so i'm talking about 
relationship the next one i will talk about relationship so the activity having start to start relationship or no relationship we can find out these activities these activities start start to start having no relationship you can see here and having a start to start relationship so these all activities are dangling activities are dangling logic activities and you need to assign finish to start or finish to finish with this so this one is a finish dangling this one is finish and then this one activities are completely dangling this one activity one activity is dangling so we learned about how to export our legs and danglings from our primary p6 to excel and how to locate our legs and how much leg is allowed and how to calculate your leg and how to define your leg in excel and how to see the danglings in an excel also we have learned how to see the danglings in scheduling log also we have seen how to find out predecessor and successor open ended activities in during the filter don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you are new user also press the bell icon to get latest upcoming notification and please share it with your friends thanks for subscribing and connecting with soft udemy